Hello, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our first ever Keep Clean Singapore online edition brought to you by the Public Hygiene Council. Today, we have Minister Grace Fu who will be gracing this event to officially launch Keep Clean Singapore 2020. We will also have a special Good High performance featuring Wang Lei Taka, Ru Pingjie, and of course, Shireen and Ta-da! Myself! <laughs> That's right. We have some very special messages in the Gertai skit. So let's see if you can spot them later. We will also be joined by some cleaners wearing brand new uniforms designed by very talented students from Thomasic Polytechnic. The Keep Clean Singapore is a ground-up initiative spearheaded by the Public Hygiene Council to encourage Singaporeans to take personal responsibility of the cleanliness of our common spaces. PHC and their partners organise clean-up activities all over Singapore to raise awareness of the need to keep our public spaces clean. Launched in 2014, Keep Clean Singapore has grown from a one-day single location exercise to a month-long island-wide campaign that attracts the involvement and support from partners across the community. Imagine if Singaporeans are always littering and we do not have enough cleaners to clean up after us. Singapore would be such a dirty and trashy place and imagine the horrible smell they would emit from the city and the rats, cockroaches and pests they will be running around everywhere, bringing horrible diseases and sicknesses. That would be terrible for all of us. That's right, just look at our background. Really terrible. Whoa, that looks scary. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, that is why we have the Keep Clean Singapore campaign, mm -hmm. so that all of us can do our part to keep Singapore truly clean and safe. Mm -hmm. To kick off this year's campaign, we have none other than our Minister for Sustainability and the Environment, Ms. Grace Fu. Welcome, Minister. Please take your place. Accompanying Minister, may I also invite Mr. Lim Biao Chuan, the Town Council Coordinating Chairman. Mr. Tan Meng Gui, CEO of the National Environment Agency. As well as Mr. Tony Tan, Executive Director, Public Hygiene Council. That's right, welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us for this occasion. Our crew will be handing the pickup to you. And on the count of three, we ask that you pick up the trash next to you and put it in the bin to keep Singapore clean together. And in... Three, two, two one. one. Whoa. <laughs> wow, look what a difference we can make if we all do our part. That's right, look at about this queen. We got like greenery and butterflies and oh look, we have a bumblebee. <laughs> oh, <that's adorable. laughs> and it's by our very own Hi. hygiene counselor, Mr. Good Edward morning. De Silva. This is your friendly neighborhood bumblebee bringing greetings from the Public Hygiene Council. Yay. So let's do our part to keep Singapore clean so that you and I can live in a clean city. Thank Thanks. you, Chairman. <laughs> Thank you. That Thank was you. truly inspiring. Well, Minister, shall we take a photo to commemorate today's launch? Come, bubble come, 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 come. <laughs> With a cleaner Singapore, we hope to create an ecosystem that will not only provide us a clean and healthy living environment, but also benefit our greenery and wildlife. Let's do our part and keep clean Singapore. That is right. Thank you, Minister, Chairman, and the rest of the VIPs for launching Keep Clean Singapore Campaign 2020. Well, audience at home, the show is just getting started. And to get things going, we have two very special guests who will show us the importance of keeping Singapore clean. <laughs> Hey,小妹 我刚才看到Andy 我再见你更生气你要霸我的位我就跟你不客气别以为这里的安迪好欺负
咦，阿哥你，你买买买买这样多，你有对无？哎呀，对对对，对食啦，对倒落有对，哎。哎呀。哎呀对，伊就衰，来了好衰了。Excuse me, I'm from NEA. What is this, huh? What's your question? I mean, what is this? Not me, not me. I never throw, he throw. And you? I, I never throw. I saw Uncle Le and Auntie Ping throw. Hey. So you just stood there watching. I. Do you know that littering will breed pests? Like mosquitoes, housewives, rats, and roaches. Let me ask you, Uncle Lee, where do you normally throw your rubbish? Ah, you don't miss your good point. Oh, ah, Uncle Lee, he asked you, you in ordinary days, where do you throw your rubbish? I help him answer. I know, Uncle Lee. He every time I throw the rubbish inside the longkang. Hey, hey, 妹妹妹妹，我无国帮龙岗哦，我是国帮 big 龙岗哦 ，big 龙岗。Do you know that trapped water will breed mosquitoes, and mosquitoes will cause diseases like Zika, malaria, and dengue? You know dengue, right? Yeah, 骨痛热症。对哦，老魏，你不要把你的垃圾哦丢在大龙缸，好不好？因为哦这样子哦，它会 breed mosquito， 会滋生疑问，然后这里就变成黑区了。啊，你哦，我的囝都唔敢娶我孙来害我了 ，OK？ Yeah. Now you know how to be worried for your grandchildren, right? Do you know that improper disposal of waste will cause diseases, especially in the pandemic? You should always dispose your tissues properly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Normally, I deliver the chicken rice. I right leg step, left leg step. 右边踩到 tissue， 左边踩掉 mask。哎呀，咦。Do you know how to eat? Do you know that littering will not only harm humans; it will also harm animals. Let me ask you a very simple question, ah. Okay. Let's say a monkey sees a plastic bag, and then the monkey eats the plastic bag. Who will die? Monkey die. Then if an otter eats the plastic bag, otter die. Then if a fish eats the plastic bag, fish die. Then if you eat the fish, I die. Hey, toy. See, see, see. So now you know. Littering will not only harm the environment, it will also harm all of us. So now you know what to do after I leave? I'm going to go back. No, no, after that, after that. I go. Then the tray is how? I put the banana in this place, otherwise I'll take it home. You really like birds, huh? Yes, I like birds. You like birds. I mean... You all really want the birds to come, is it? If you don't clear the trace, right? Pigeons, la, crows, la, miners, they'll all come. And then there might be bird flu. See, that's why. Please. Uh, what do you want to say? The tree got people will keep what? That's where you are wrong. We shouldn't just depend on the cleaners. The cleaners in Singapore are mostly elderly and unskilled foreign workers. We cannot just rely on them. We should clear our own trace and make their work easier. Uncle, wait a minute. You should put that pot down. So please, take care of the environment. Because always remember, if a monkey eats a plastic bag, who will die? Monkey! Then if an otter eats the plastic bag, otter die. Then if a fish eats the plastic bag, fish die. Mm, then if you eat the fish, you die. die. Huh? Toy! You with your secret. <laughs> you think no one will see. <laughs> you think no one is watching. But I can see you. <laughs> it's exciting, right? Getting away with something naughty? <laughs> But you don't know, I'm always watching. <laughs> always waiting. For my moment. To strike. And use your dirty little secrets against you. Dirty little secrets make us sick. It's time we become a zero-litter nation.
Thank you so much, Wang Leitak and Ru Pingxie, for joining us in that amazing performance. Well, the skit is funny, but the message is real, and littering is not just bad for the environment. It may actually come back to haunt us. So Wallace, since you played the NEA officer, huh, let me ask you a question. Okay. So if I have like litter, but I cannot find the rubbish bin, then how? Uh, very simple. You know, there are actually a few things that we can do to make Singapore a zero litter nation. So let's say you have rubbish. Huh? Mm -hmm. What do you do? Number one, you can put in your pocket and then throw later. Or number two, you can find a bin and then throw later. Or number three, Bring home, then show. Okay, okay. Or, you know, or if you have like tissue or uh, paper, don't put them on the table because they will just fly away. So just bring they home and throw. They will just fly away, you know. <laughs> yeah. So just bring home and throw. La. Exactly. Mm. Okay, okay, that's true. La. So just now you also mentioned uh, that we have like 59,000 cleaners and they are all like my uncle and ama age, helping to keep Singapore clean. Why don't we hear what some of them have to say so we can better appreciate what they feel and what they do? Mm -hmm. When people come say, Uncle, this street very clean, eh? I also say, 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 ni. <laughs> My name is Andari Benso. My age is 65, working at HDB Block Cleaner. I'm coming now around 7 o'clock. Start first is the deep lobby inside, sweeping. After that, we mop. Single bar, every day have. And then second, I found a packet of food. Always put at the deep lobby. Not hygiene. Huh? Sometimes uh, when people move house, they throw anyhow inside, outside the deep. The heavy, everything. So uh, I, one person, uh, clear the whole block. Now uh, the new generation, uh, they're more educated. They don't want to work, uh, sweep the HDV block. I old already lah, so I hope ah you all don't deter so much. Uncle life will be easier. We also must teach Singaporean ah to be clean, don't deter. Do you know that recently a group of Temasek Poly students have imagined how cleaners of the future would look like, and they have designed exciting new uniforms with smart features that are both comfortable and practical for their work. Today, we are showing off the top four designs and who better to model them by our very own cleaners. This is so exciting and I cannot wait to see what the designs are like. Yeah, me too. Without further ado, let us introduce our first designer, Amelia Wu. And her design is modelled by Shanka. The new uniform is very good and very comfortable to wear. I love it and I like it. Our second designer is Claudia Wong. And her design is modelled by Timothy. The new uniform is very nice and comfortable and it's very fit for the new generation cleaners. Our third designer, Pop Hui Wen. And her design is modelled by Madam Ho. Our fourth designer is Rebecca Pinto and her design is modelled by Andari. I use this uniform very comfortable. 